So again, just do it like really quick. Just shove it in there, okay? Ready? One, two, three. Okay, let's see if it, oh my God, it actually went through. What? It actually worked. If I get a piece of string and a quarter and wrap the string around the quarter and put it into a vending machine, will I be able to hack a vending machine and get something for free? Mm. Yo, what's good everyone? Welcome back to another video. I hope everyone's having a wonderful day. Today, you guys saw the title of this video. Basically, a few weeks ago, I made a video where I grabbed a dollar bill, I put tape on the dollar bill, and I put it into one of my vending machines to see if I can hack my own machine and get something for free. Which, if you haven't seen that video, I'll put the link down below. Go check it out. In that video, I asked you guys what hack I should try next, and almost everyone said to put string on a quarter to see if I can hack a vending machine. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna grab a quarter, I'm gonna put it into a vending machine, pull it back out with some string, and see if I can get something for free. Comment down below if you guys think this hack is going to work. And if it doesn't, drop down below any other hacks you guys want me to try next time. So over here, I do have a bunch of regular quarters. You know, these are just 25 cents. And over here, I do have a bunch of like fake metal coins with a huge hole in the middle. I actually looked everywhere online for a quarter with the hole, but I just, I couldn't find it anywhere. I was gonna just make the hole myself in like a regular quarter, but I found out that apparently that's illegal. <laughs> <laughs> so I didn't do it because apparently you can't like mess up US currency or something So it's like ripping up a dollar bill. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. So I, I couldn't do it Hope you guys enjoyed the video and let's go hack that vending machine. Let's go All right guys, so actually before we go I got a surprise for you. This is actually for you. Really? Yeah Oh, you saw it. Did you see it? Yeah oh, <laughs> Why is it flat? I don't know. Show them. <laughs> Look. Oh, mine's ugly. Yeah. It was supposed to be embroidered. Why is it printed? Can they see it? There we go. We gotta fold it up real quick. Let's see how it looks. Boy, if you don't get. You just have a big head. That's why it looks funny. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Now we are official. We are officially a vending machine company. My baby looking fine. You got the hat on, you got the shirt uniform. If you guys notice, she, she actually has the uniform as well. Look, so it says her name right there, Elizabeth. And then on the other side, it has the logo of the company. It said Elizabeth? It's not Elizabeth. Yeah. It's Elizabeth. That's the same thing. No, same it's thing. not. She always says, I, I say her name wrong. Because you do. I don't. That's actually the same shirt from the last video. Shh, e shh, <laughs> All right, so we're finally at the location. We got the string right there. We got the tape ready. We got the other coins right there. So we actually can't get the regular uh, quarter ready just because I don't have any quarters with me uh, until we go inside. Yeah, so there we go. It's basically the same size as the nickel. So there might be a good chance that this works. But the question is, how long does the string have to be? Because where the coins go in, it goes all the way down. So it has to be pretty long. <laughs> Put it in there. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't want to go in. Ooh. Okay, there. Hey, you got it. That's, that's pretty cool. Look at that. It actually, you know what? This might actually work. I, I don't see why it wouldn't. I think so too. You put the quarter in, you take the string back out, and you got the money back. And the string is really thin, so it's probably, it will fit. Anyways, before we actually go inside and test out the hack to see if it works, we first gotta fill up the machine. So we do have a bunch of stuff in the back, or not in the back, but in the car. <laughs> so we do have a box of chips, we got Mountain Dew, we got Sour Patch. Uh, let's see what we got over here. Here's we got some sodas over here. Sodas? Yeah. Basically the normal stuff, you know, we got Lay's, we got Sun Chips. We're actually gonna be testing out the pistachios on this location, so hopefully it does good. Okay, so you got the dolly ready? Yep. So the dolly is actually not for the snacks. It's for myself because I'm too lazy. What? I'm too lazy to walk inside. So what about me? let's go. I can't even turn with you on this. What do you mean? Are you trying to say I'm too heavy? You're not light. So you're trying to say I'm medium. What?
This one too, right? No, not those. Put them back. Why? No. You can't claim chips. Baby, those are mine. That's right. Put them back. So again, before we actually go inside, comment down below if you guys think the hack is gonna work. One more time. Do you think so? Um, I think so, but don't you think it'll mess up like the coin maker or anything? Hopefully it doesn't break the machine because I didn't bring an extra part like last time. Hi, baby. I know, so hopefully it doesn't break it. You're risking a lot right yeah, now. Yeah, I am. <laughs> I'm, I'm putting so much on the line. I'm actually taking a huge risk. So again, before we go inside, like the video because if I break the machine, it's going to be worse for me. Not you guys, okay? So like the video <laughs> and I hope you guys do enjoy it. Bam, so there we go, we're finally inside. Uh, before we do everything, let's see what we're missing. So we got three empty slots for chips. We got, what was right there? Was it donuts? donuts? I think it was donuts or maybe cookies. So yeah, we got four up here, down there. We got one, uh, what, what was right there? Cinnamon rolls. For almost a whole month, it actually didn't do that well. We only have five empty slots. Uh, we have, I mean, that one is almost empty. I actually thought the chips were gonna be expired, but they're not. Like this one expires November 19th. This one is, December 19th So there we go again. We have the coin on a string and we do have a regular quarter Which uh, we are gonna put the string on it in a second But before we do that we're gonna first be filling up the snack machine and the soda machine back there And there we go, so the snacking machine is all the way filled up. It looks way better now that it's filled up. You know, we got the sun chips in there. We got, uh, we got a whole bunch of different chips. So hopefully it does, you know, better now. This time I did put some Cheez-Its in there. I put the pistachios, so now they have something healthy. <laughs> Finally. Yeah. But anyways, now that the machine is full, you know what time it is now to test out the hack. So we got the quarter. Do you have the other one with the hole? Oh, did you lose it? You lost it. So yeah, we got this one with the hole and the string, and then we also got a regular quarter, which we, we still have to get ready. But before we test out the hack, I wanna show you guys what happens whenever you put a quarter into a machine. That way you guys can see what it looks like inside. So the quarter goes right there, and once you put it in, it comes out through there, like right there. It's kinda hard to see. And then it falls into this machine down here, which is what gives people back the change, okay? okay. Actually, you know what? I think this might actually work. Cause look, so if the quarter goes in through there, it slides down. All you gotta do is pull the string out and it should bring it back out. Oh, is that the purpose of the string? Yeah, that's for the string. Oh. Bruh. Did you not know? No. <laughs> that's why we got the string. <laughs> okay, so first put a regular quarter in. That way they can see what it looks like. Okay, okay three, two, one. Yeah, so it was kind of hard to see but you guys saw the quarter it came out through there and then it fell into here Which it's actually right there because this is the the 25 cent column. That's for 25 cents This one is five cents and this one is ten cents. Are they actually the same size? They look like they are. Put it like back to back Wait, oh, they're actually the same size. That's so cool. It might actually work. Is that how you got it? No, I, I had no idea. It was the same size. Dang, that's crazy. Okay, so now for the final test. Is string on a coin going to work in a vending machine? I think it will. Again, before we try it, comment down below if you guys think it's gonna work. All right, baby, so look, you're gonna put the coin inside and I'm gonna show the back. That way they can see what it looks like, okay? Okay. Here we go, drum roll. Are you ready? No. This is the final test. Let's go, let's see if it works. Three, two, one. Wait, do you still have it? I saw the string. Wait, is it inside? Yeah, it didn't go down. 
Mm -hmm. I think it is inside. Wait, let me Very pull the. Let me. No, it is inside. Oh, Look. See it, yeah. You see the string? Yeah. I see the string right there, but I don't. Oh, wait. wait. Oh, my God. Look at this. It, it went all the way through. It went all the way through. But it didn't take it as 25 cents. So it didn't register it? No. I think it's too thin. Yeah. It might actually be too thin because it doesn't even show that there's money inside. Hey, but it went in. Yeah, so it did <laughs> went in, but it went all the way through. Are you so, ready for the magic? So that's what happens whenever you put in the coin with the string in a machine. Can you actually take it out? It's stuck. Try it now. Oh, it's right there. It's right there. Oh my god, you actually pulled it back out from the front. If it goes through here, you know how it got stuck? Yeah. You think if it wasn't our machine, that it wouldn't come back out? That's true. So actually, so the only reason why we're doing this is because it's our machine. So please do not try this on a different machine because it will get stuck. But yeah, now we know that this one doesn't work. Now let's test out a regular quarter and see if it does. Let's try it. Okay, so obviously quarters do not have holes inside. So, you know, we did have to put tape on the string and just put it on the quarter. But it should work still. Hopefully the tape doesn't get stuck inside, you know, yeah. just like with the dollar bill. Well, there's only one way to find out. There you go. You know what to do. Okay, so this is actually the final test. Is string on a coin going to be able to hack a vending machine? Baby, my drum roll. Your drum roll? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Drum roll. Three, two, go. I think the tape is stopping it. Is it stuck with the tape? Yeah, it's not gonna go down. It's not? No. Why, the tape or what? Yeah, I think so. Okay, just try to like, like put it in there like quick, quick. like okay. fast, okay? Alright. Three, two, one, go! Wait, did it go through? No, it's Oh, right no, it did go through, because I see the string right there. Oh, it went, the exact same thing happened. Look, it went all the way through. Why though? It's a quarter. It doesn't even show 25 cents. You think it's the tape that doesn't register it? It probably is because you're covering it. Because it was supposed to go right there, but it just went all the way through. Look at like this. It knew something was wrong with it, so it didn't take it. Is it stuck in here again? Yeah. So again, just do it like really quick. Just shove it in there, okay? Ready? One, two, three. Wait, did it work? Does it say 25 cents? No. It doesn't. But this time, it didn't go all the way through. Look. It's stuck. Oh, man. Look at this. Why? Why? I'm so mad. Why? I, <laughs> I guess I shouldn't be mad because the machine, you know, it, it's, it's good. It's yeah. good. It's good that this thing doesn't work so people can't hack into the machines. But I was really hoping that it would. Oh, well, I feel like halfway worked because it still went in yeah i mean it still went, it went in so it in. did work yeah it went in you just can't pull it back out yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh, well i mean i guess i can't be too sad since i'm still gonna collect some money <laughs> so i don't think it was a loss so there we go so this is the snack machine let's see how much money is inside other way yeah there we go same amount it's because there was no chips, you saw. There was like four empty slots yeah, of true. chips. Um, but I mean, it's not too bad. We still have the credit card machine. That's the bills. Is there a five? Is there a five? Let's see. There's not. No. Oh, man. No, I'm sorry. If there's no five, Ooh. I don't want it. I'll keep it. <laughs> <laughs> there's still hope, though, because we still got coins left. So let's see. We took out the 25 cents over. Oops. Hey, you dropped, no, they're not running away. Yes, they are. You're dropping the money. <laughs> yeah, on, put it in there. What? Don't get mad. Why? What happened? Don't tell me the AC doesn't work. If the AC doesn't work, I'm going to walk home. Bye. <laughs> no, we live for it. Uh, okay, so we're finally going back home. I'm still a little bit bummed out that the hack didn't work just because, you know, it would have been cool if it did. No, it wouldn't, baby. You would ruin a lot of business. You know what? That's true. That's true. So good thing it didn't work. But look, I bet you a thousand dollars, no matter what, there's going to be somebody in the comment section that's going to say I did it wrong. Princess, you can't bet that because you know that's going to happen. You know 
Hey, that's enough. I'm gonna get copyrighted. Baby.